I want to ask you to come along on a journey with me. This is a journey that's going to take one whole year as we look at specific habitat management activities that produce great results for all kinds of habitat, but especially for pollinators. It's April and spring is finally coming to the prairie, but we're going to talk about the management activities that happened on this project starting last August when we conducted a growing season prescribed burn on this project. Unlike most prescribed burn activities that typically occur in early spring, a growing season prescribed burn is strategically designed to occur later in the year. This type of burn is accomplished at a time of the year to work with our management efforts that are designed to increase wildflower diversity and abundance. Unlike a spring prescribed burn, a growing season burn is typically represented by a fire that is low, slow moving, and produces more white smoke. In the example with this project, the burn was conducted in mid-August and then followed with an application of glyphosate in late fall specifically to control and remove the cool season grasses that were beginning to naturally take over the site. In the spring, eight months after our burn, we can now start to see the many wildflower species beginning to grow in early April. One of the benefits from the growing season burn is that the wildflowers in this high diversity planting have now been released and encouraged to expand by reducing the grass competition and returning nutrients back to the soil. As we follow the progress of this site throughout the growing season, we can begin to see several outcomes. The cool season grasses that were beginning to dominate the site have been nearly eliminated and there's now more open and bare ground. An appropriate amount of warm season grasses have been stimulated by the burn and have returned to the project. Most importantly, there's now an abundance and diversity of wildflower species that have returned to the site. Basically, the project has been returned to the diversity that it was originally designed with and has significantly increased the value of the site for a wide range of pollinator species, grassland songbirds, upland wildlife like pheasants, quail, and deer, and is a visually appealing area with color throughout the growing season. Well, we've now come to the end of our year-long journey of looking at the benefits of conducting a growing season prescribed burn. It's late September, 13 months after that burn was conducted, and we really got exactly what we wanted out of this. An abundance of wildflowers and forbs that are flowering from the start of the growing season all the way to the end of the growing season, and the kind of size and structure that we want from great pollinator habitat. But the cherry on top of this project is that this field served as a fueling station for monarch butterflies as they migrated through on their way to central Mexico. Conducting a growing season prescribed burn to get great pollinator benefits, now that's great habitat. <laughs>